Boston Latin School has the best students in the city. Boston Latin School has the best teachers in the city. The big difference between Latin School students and any other students I've worked with is their motivation. They truly appreciate the opportunity that they've been given. They respect the school and they are driven to succeed. It's a deeper, more uh, interesting and interested group of people. You've got a lot of students who are on the path to succeed in everything, if not almost everything, that's put in front of them, and they want more challenges. And the more challenges you can give them, the better. This school is a shining example of what you can achieve in an urban environment. It's critical to me that it continues to be there and that parents always know they have this as, a, as, as an option. The importance of Boston Latin School was it was always an institution that reflected the ethnicity of the city of Boston and gave individuals, first generation or second generation in the city, a chance to get the kind of education that would project them into college education. When you think of Alma Mater, your, your first instinct is to think of your college or university experience. But the reality is you can have a lot more impact on young student lives uh, by providing support to the Boston Latin School. There are so many uh, needs that the school has to really become a modern school um, while staying grounded in the classical education that it currently supports. We're doing a great job in many areas despite the level of resources. Our students excel in all areas of endeavor, but we want to meet that mission for all of our students. There's not enough money within Boston Public Schools to help fund everything that we need here. The BLSA provides for things that the school would absolutely not have otherwise. It's very important that the private philanthropists and people who are alumni of the Latin School uh, support the school in order to make sure that it continues and continues to represent the city and the city's best people. The money allocated from the City of Boston doesn't go nearly far enough to provide the opportunities for our students academically, athletically, artistically, leadership, service, all of the things we want for our kids to graduate knowing and be able to do. Education is a competitive business. You don't think of it as it is, but it is. So our sense here is that because we are in Boston, we are the oldest public high school in the country, we've, we've got a historical lineage that uh, is, is unexcelled, um, I, we, we can keep this school at, at the forefront of public education in this country. We have, over the past three years, laid the groundwork, both on the school side and the association side, to reach the ambitious goals we've set. As a school and as a, an association, we came together and um, undertook a strategic plan. We met with parents and teachers and everybody to kind of really come up with what are the main things we need to focus on if we're really going to keep a Latin school as an extraordinary school of academic excellence in the future. It was a year's worth of very intense work that led to a distilled set of priorities and that's what ultimately this capital campaign has revolved around. In the past 10 years, we've seen a huge increase in the number of students taking science courses at the Boston Latin School. We increased our science requirement from two years of science to three years for every graduating student. They want more science and they want to learn what's really happening in the jobs today. One of the main priorities in the campaign and for BLS in general is our STEM agenda or science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Latin school needs to provide students with the science and technology that they are using in the world they're building. It's not just a Bunsen burner anymore. It's an entire biological or chemical laboratory that has to be funded here. It's leveling the playing field. Schools are expecting students to come in being able to problem solve and reason and to be able to analyze and synthesize all the higher order thinking skills that are required of students today. And we need to make sure that we're in a position to develop those early on. STEM has to be taught in such a way that it's not discrete classrooms teaching discrete subjects. You might be teaching science, a technology course, an engineering course, and a mathematics course. But if those four teachers aren't collaborating, if those students aren't collaborating, it won't work. That's the model that hasn't worked in the past.
The phrase contemporary classical education is very important. A lot of the criticism of Latin school when I was there, which is a long time ago now, was that it was too disciplined in terms of just memorizing things and not really learning. Today it's very different at Latin school. The contemporary classical education does teach you a lot of other things and exposes you to a lot of other situations. It's the humanities that can be underestimated in terms of their importance in the development of a young person. What the study of classics does is it helps you to think. Whether it's taking their thoughts and putting them on paper, whether it's taking their thoughts and executing a lab experiment, whether it's taking their thoughts and executing a play on the athletic field, it teaches you how to think strategically. Having a strong science, technology, and math program here at the school, coupled with and hand-in-hand -hand with an arts and humanities program at the school, is critical if we're to stay current. The globe is becoming more interconnected by the day. If, if you don't have uh, a global understanding of events, uh, re regardless of which profession you ultimately choose, it, it might be medicine, it might be finance, it might be education, you've got to understand what this world is about. If I think about Boston Latin and what sets it itself apart with the classical education is that it really does um, train us to be you know, great citizens of this world. You don't want folks to just excel in one thing, whether it be the arts or the sciences, but you want folks that you know, care about humanity. Well, I see developing the whole student as augmenting the focus on the core educational opportunities, so what happens directly in the classroom uh, with extracurricular opportunities, whether it be clubs, fellowships for summer opportunities, a sports program. Having an internship, getting involved with the community really changes a student's life. Um, they can go from a student who is unsure about themselves, who has low confidence, to a student who is really proud about what they do. And you can really see it when they come back into school the next year and they're joining more clubs, they're seeking leadership positions in clubs, they're becoming more vocal. Athletics, particularly team athletics, are very important because I think to be successful, uh, it's very difficult to be successful if you're a lone ranger. I think at the end of the day, you have to realize that you're going to be with people, that you're going to have an interdependency with other people, and playing team sports really helps you to understand that it's not only about you, it's about being dependent on others to help you to be successful. Really, my goal is for them to graduate as well-educated, responsible, global citizens. And the experiences that we're going to be able to give them as a result of this campaign will allow us to do that. I would say Boston Latin School gave me two things. Uh, they gave me an element of self-confidence and they gave me aspiration. And I think aspiration in a young person, especially at that age, is so important because it just gives you the, the drive to, to try to do well. When a person is young, at the high school level or at the college level, is a time where their mind should be as open as possible. At that time, I think an individual should, should open as many doors, as many books, as much education as they can. That's what's so great about Boston Latin School is that we are able to provide such a wide range of opportunities that every student can explore find their passion, and take it wherever it leads them. Our students are going to be innovators. We know that. They're going to be innovators in whatever field they end up in. Education as a priority in this country is out there, but the funds are limited. Making sure that the future for the school is as rich as its past is critical. In order to maintain that greatness, it needs everybody's participation. They need to feel the passion around seeing what these kids are capable of and knowing that they were a part of that. We owe it to every single one of our students to have them reach their fullest potential wherever their passion is, whether it's the sciences or the arts or Greek or literature or poetry. What this will allow us to do is to bring every student to that highest level so that they'll be prepared for the 21st century as responsible and engaged citizens. We are number one 
and we're going to continue to be number one. And that's to, to, to accomplish that, that's going to take an awful lot of investment and a lot of commitment on the part of a lot of us. We're going to have to stand up and be there to ensure the fact that Boston Latin School survives and survives well. And it's our duty and our responsibility to ensure that those people that began this school back in 1635, that this school continues to, into the future. It's got a major role to play for the students of the city.